All right, welcome, folks. You're watching the Alima League. It's one of the first matches of the day. This is actually a round two game, not a round one, so this is not a best of one, but indeed a best of three. Spawning here in the bot. Oh, you know what? Actually, it's not the Alima League. That's right. Ah. Nah. Deep breaths. Hang on. It's not. It's not as bad as the last one, but this time, this week, the main sponsor is, of course, uh, Mr. Bobble Convolute himself. You may have seen him in chat. He's one of our chat mods, but uh, due to this, this. <laughs> This week is uh, the Bobble Convolima League. It's a little bit easier to say than the hashtag saving one pancake at a time nonsense we had. No, you're not saving pancakes. How do you always get this wrong, Rifkin? Oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, spotting in the bottom left corner of the map, we've got the red Terran player from Invasion Esports. I give you the red Terran Gumiho. In the upper right, as the blue Protoss Liquid Hero. Of course, we've seen uh, a lot of both of these guys in the Alima League. Definitely Gumiho, I think, far more than Hero. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't, I, I don't know what it was. The uh, I, I'm kind of loving this. I don't know. There was a dynamic to the Alima League I think a lot of people have forgotten about. It's been, God knows, like four months or something at this point. So we've all become very used to the Alima League, uh, especially the dedicated fans. Shout out to anyone who tunes in every week with us. But one of the key features to start this league was Olivia, uh, Oli Moly, the person who helps manage the Axiom team. She kind of said, like, hey, there's not really any online cups for her boys to play in. There's not any online cups for any of the Korean guys to play in. It's pretty much like the big hitters like GSL, Pro League, and if you're not doing either of those, you gotta go to foreign events. So it seemed a little bit weird for anyone to look to Korea to make another event, but she was bold enough to do so. It's worked out really well, and it's provided a nice little, if for nothing else, a training ground to all these other guys who uh, mm -hmm. want to play. So it's really nice to see we're starting again. We had parting, uh, we, we've we been getting bigger names, we've had Marine Kings since like day one, weirdly enough. Uh, Liquid Hero amongst others. It's it's really cool to see just how successful the Alien League has become. Yeah. I love to expand on that point, but we got to bring up that Liquid Hero, you know, he's coming back in the Alimi League once or twice. Uh, really not nearly as much as Gumiho. But what we see is that he's come back cheesy. Like, yeah. Hero could throw out cheeses, but it wasn't like you would be like, oh, Liquid Hero cheesing his way to top, you know, four again. I mean, it was never Hero's thing. But in Alimi League, it definitely is. I'm trying to remember which one it was. It, it, it's, it wasn't too long ago, but he definitely did. not he, he won one of these straight up. The finals versus Salvation, I think. You know what? Yes, I'm remembering that match now. Yeah, it was definitely versus Salvation. I was going to say yeah. Fantasy, personally, but yeah, Salvation was that week, too. Again, name drop of the folks playing in the Alima League. <laughs> but uh, this is kind of cool to see the proxy Stargate. Deadwing is definitely a map that maybe he doesn't want to play the macro game on versus Gumio. Because Gumio has been doing some cool things. Primarily Bio versus uh, Protoss, as everyone has seen. It's uh, Gumio might be known for his mech a little bit versus the Zerg, but uh, he can also pull it out. I, I would really have confidence in Gumio of all people to play mech versus Protoss. Definitely throwing out one or two uh, mech builds, like two base all ins, which I think he did at least once in another uh, game. Or maybe that was Supernova, I can't remember. Both of them kind of went for their mech stuff. But looks like he's going to find the Stargate. Oh, yeah, yeah it's, it, it's worse because the Stalker's coming with it. Now, the nice thing is he can still... Uh, he's not going to lose the SCV, but look what's in the main. I mean, there's not a whole hell of a lot for Gumio. He's got to get that one of mine, too, not hit the Stalker. It absolutely has to go off on the Oracle. Uh, it's not going to be out quite soon enough. In fact, the Oracle... Actually, he's going to buy a little bit yeah. of time with his Marines, maybe? Is that just barely maybe enough? Maybe that was worth it. Oh, it's gonna be tight. The thing is, it's gonna see the wood of mine to dodge it. You really want to be able to just like just kill it, yeah. uh, even if it even if it does protect like half your mineral line. It's still really annoying. <laughs> well, it's pretty important. It doesn't go off on the stalker. He think he knows this as well, but the stalker is doing a pretty fair amount of damage. The reaper coming in to finish it off. Meanwhile, the uh, SCV is the one actually <laughs> killing the. Okay, I expected that to be the other way around. The reaper was supposed to be shooting the pylon. Uh, you can stack up on, on the Wood of Mine, though. I mean, even though Hero might know where it is, it's still safety for the SCVs. Is I think that's kind of what you're looking for. How is yeah. this thing not out of energy? Oh, it's a new right. one, that's why. Oh. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because the other one's fast. over here with seven kills. Yeah, uh... 
I always hear supply block, but I guess that was on the third one. I mean, guys, like I said, like, it's not that he's not, like, throwing it out every once or even twice a series, like, in a best of seven that we cast him once. It was, like, every single game in the best of seven. Plus, it was, like, with follow-ups, right? Oh, like, Proxy Oracle you can he's... throw out and just be okay. But they've been going, yeah, he's been going three Oracles, three Oracles and a Voidery, three Oracle Voidery into, like, a four gate. Like, really super cheesy. He's got a full MC and he's looking for that one of mine. Oh, the uh, revelation's kind of cool to see on that third one. Now, for those who don't know why I'm saying full MC, I guess a bit of context for this is, uh, we actually, I watched, the first time I saw this go down with the proxy was MC versus Bomber in Dreamhack, and uh, it, it wrecked Bomber pretty badly, just to be frank. Uh, since then, we've seen a lot of other players try and pull this off. The Voidry follow-up's really strong because it'll tear through any sort of bunker defense, but also it's just got that constant damage, whereas Oracles have to rely on their energy. But uh, it's it'll come in with the first one to poke, look for a turret or two to kill, maybe even an add-on. But once that second one comes out, it's gonna start shredding the defense. Mm. He does scan the natural, knows that it is not that four gate coming. But you know, I've seen the void ray. This is still a very scary force, and there still could be gateways on the way just after an exodus. Yeah, he's left a couple of mines riddled around the map or around his own base, and it's a pretty good move on his part. But. Look like he wants to get Stim going, and if he does, it's going to be really hard to hold that tech lab. Uh, yeah. So what am I repositioning to try and intercept, should that be the case? However, the Oracle's diving in. There's a lot of Marines, and good control to Gumio so far. It's just, it's so sad that he has to Oh, this never got brought back! Oh, he's going to lose the command center! Oh, yeah, he is! He yes, never brought this back?! Oh, no! This, uh, this might even be game losing the command center, I don't know. I think it would be. Uh, he's really trying very hard to save it. It's not longer being targeted. Uh, if he brought SCVs, he definitely would. Yeah, no repair, no repair. But uh, yeah, at the same time, Void Rays, if they had prismatically aligned earlier, this could have killed the commands for, for sure. So a small mistake out of hero, perhaps. Prismatic uh, alignment just does so much extra damage to armor buildings. Yeah. Looks like Hero won't be following up with another all in. I was kinda of expecting to go for like super cheese, but nope. Well, blank, but a robo. He is chronoing at that blink though, so he might be trying to get that down pretty quick and just uh, keep the pressure high at the very least. He's already kind of, you know, mission accomplished, done this really nice contain, but uh, is it going to be a soft contain or hard contain is I guess the big question. Yeah, and as we saw with parting, you know, three gateways may not sound like a lot with blink, but apparently it is. Yeah. Apparently it's enough to kill your turn every single game. Apparently in the right hands. Uh, now what kind of sucks for Gumio is this is not a situation where he's going to be able to push. He, these medevacs coming out won't be able to get much of anything done. Uh, you'd obviously love to pick up eight marines and go across the map, but he kind of needs every single one, I feel. If he brings any of these in a medevac to drop the other side of the base, the other side of the map, I just I can't imagine him doing enough damage to Hero. Yeah. So he's going to have to try and break this ramp with what he's got. Stim not done. Get a little bit scary. Oh, oh. that bluff, that bluff. Oh. Yeah. That might have been really good. I don't know though. It's on a very it's on a bluff that lasts very long. <laughs> exactly. And the Oracle's coming back to check for it. Revelations pops. Man, the vision on these is pretty good, I'm just gonna say. I can't believe you can detect and, and see the Widowmines from where he is, but Stalker's gonna start picking these off and uh, that bluff that oh god, that is such a big gamble of a bluff. Yes it is. Uh, not even a bunker to even try and hold on. He's just gonna be able to uh, wait Cancels until he everything. has as many marines as possible, pull the SEVs. Okay, and he does have hope. stim, but photon overcharge is gonna be pretty darn nice. Oh, doesn't actually have it ready yet. I didn't realize he had waited on to make the uh, mothership core. So no photon overcharge. Both players are gonna lose their natural bases at this rate. Command center does fall for Gumiho. It looks like Hero's also gonna lose his nexus. SCV's no. getting bold. Marine's gonna stim into the action. Force fields no more. Takes out the sentries immediately. Gets the void ray. Oh, Gumiho might just break this. He might. Force field goes down. Ooh. Very nice. There is blink, so the next is gonna be careful. Yeah, it's doing as much damage to the natural as you can. Take out the pylons, remove the assimilators. I really don't know who I feel better for it. I mean, gumio has got more attack. He's got plus one one. He's got stim. He doesn't have combat shields, but he also doesn't have a command center. I mean, no, not to play with the expansion, I guess, but still, it's a rough situation for any Terran player who's not dropping two mules at a time. Link, link. Oh, okay. Oh, the focus fire on the sentries <laughs> is nice. Gets the extra stalkers. If he had finished off this probe, this would have been the perfect attack, because he's just waiting to throw down a new Nexus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Hero still has 41 uh, probes compared to just 29 SCVs, so uh, some of those will just be probably better off long distance mining, believe it or not. Uh, another drop is so... Oh, I guess it's... It might have been a drop, but... Oh, <laughs> you know what? This, is, this isn't a bad spot, though. This guy get the pile and get out of there. There's a lot of stalkers sitting right on his doorstep. 
Oh, Might he just snipes at Oracle. Kind of forced to take the fight, though. He knows about oh that blink. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, that's the problem, man. Yeah, Commander Sword going down the low ground, too. Yikes. I don't know if he's going to hold this. Marauder's on the way. Kikatsu Shell's not done yet, but he does have Metavax out. I feel like it's so unnecessary. Charons can lift Gumiho. Oh, he just cancels immediately. That's a smart ass move. He's gonna lose that. The contention wouldn't be worth it, but this again puts him behind as far as bases and expansions go. Blink looking pretty darn good. Viking gets picked off pretty quickly. Here comes two Marauders to the front lines, and he will be able to chase his back. Interesting choice. Oh, um, oh come on! <laughs> <laughs> I guess he really wanted that one Oracle to do more damage. Uh, the oh. Viking would have been on you top know, to deal with. Gumi was actually mining out of his main pretty badly. I was going to say, he hasn't dropped any mules recently. He's got way too much energy bulked up with the command center. But I actually don't know that he can drop those mules. <laughs> so, well, I guess if you, if you pull the boys, if you pull the boys a little, it's different, I guess. No, he's going to transfer over. Well, he, there. he does remember that he can lift. Okay. Does well, not. clunky, messy. Unfortunately, these stockers are just going to blink to the high ground, and the Marines can't really give chase. What do you do? Pick <laughs> up the medevac? No. Target it. Alright, pulls, uh, almost would've been better to leave those on the low ground, I don't know, he brings them to the high ground, he's got this around with the SCV, he's gonna pick up the Stalkers, clean this up, really oh, nice. No, no, no. But oh, I guess that was the only place he could blink. Uh, the problem is, Legumio's got no money to work with, and it's gonna be a one base build versus one and a half bases, that sounds a little bit silly, but in such a low econ situation, it's such a dire situation where Gumiho can barely afford to build this command center, much less make it into an orbital. I don't know, Zombie Grub, this, not, I, this was looking good for him for a bit. I don't know how I feel about his position right now. Oh, when this Oracle has enough energy, it's gonna just wreck these SUVs. That's why he maybe oh. just... What do you think? Maybe pull the boys and just go for it at this point? Um... Honestly, no. Uh, that sounds like, you know, like, maybe that could work in this scenario, but honestly, I'd be more... It, it, like, uh, uh... Confident with just Gumiho trying to drop everywhere and mm. buy his own time. So no matter how Hero was buying time with those Blink Stalkers, I mean, that's why he even bothered blinking that one Stalker oh, that God, had, like, please. four health. There we go. There's the mules. There's that hammer from the gods. Oh, but the commander is actually stalled out. Okay, there we go. Yeah, good job, Marine. Well, it needs to get that orbital oh, going. Attack on the other side of the map no. begins. Colossus is out, but no extent thermal lands. Foot on overcharge goes off. He should be able to hold the defense. Dives in for the Colossus. Is caution to the wind. Get it, get it, gets the nice snipe. But will that be worth it? Because he's got almost nothing left now. A couple Marauders remaining. You can pick up and try and get away, sure, but. This is a very... Oh, oh no! God. Oh, God. All right, well, that didn't go so well. No, uh, seven uh, SCVs died on the other side of the map, too, while this was going on. Stupid transfer. Well, now <laughs> he's going to have two bases, because this one might as well lift to be a third. Right? That's just what I was thinking, actually. Like, this one, in the, I guess, yeah, he still needs the gas, though, so it wouldn't be worth transferring just yet. But, uh, you know, once he gets a couple more medevacs out Marauders, maybe that's when he can get the transfer down, once you get the uh, SCV count back up a bit. But 20 SCVs. His upgrade lead disappearing and quickly. Yeah. I, Hero has been played off the back end of this cheese really well. It wasn't the all-in auto victory that I thought it was going to be with that Void Ray, but it's still... I'm surprised that despite Gumiho's great tactics, and I really want to stress that, that, that bluff, that risk, that gamble flying across the map, killing his opponent's Nexus, like if that never happened, Gumiho's out of this game forever ago. But despite all of this, Hero still manages to maintain a lead, and uh, that's quite impressive for him. Yeah. I mean, he's doubling the supply of Gumiho. Uh, I still think that if Gumiho, like, he died for that Colossus, and that's definitely a big pickoff, but it wasn't worth basically almost two full medevacs worth of units. Uh, it really could be, like, dropping right now, this... at least buying more time, you know, giving Hero a decision to make, as opposed to just being like, well, I'm fine and dandy on three bases, let me push. This fucking Oracle with 22 kills. Part of my French, but that is ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, this uh, looks like it's gonna be the game. Back. There's no hope. Yeah, there's some couple of stockers before dying. Not too bad. But, uh, yeah, this is. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Trying to command center, uh, flip the command center from the main to the third. Ugh. Uh. This, this isn't gonna go well. Nope. Okay, he's gonna try and base trade it out. It's the best option possible, I guess. Maybe. I think oh, he's just gonna mind. try and hold into the natural rather than get cut out there. <laughs> It's, uh, if he holds the natural, it's even more of a choke than if he attacked out there. There he goes. It's, uh, somewhat of a concave. Pulls some of the boys. It's like that transfer is more like, I can't mind, let's fight. 
CC's gonna die. This is the one from the main. There's a lot of energy on it. Gets a couple of mules dropped just in the. Nope. Scans confirms GG. I <laughs> take that back. And, uh. Game number one, ladies and gentlemen, is gonna go to Liquid Hero. <laughs> oh, cheesy proto.